going to need these in a few minutes, so. Oh, it's awful. Uh, th this whole thing, it's so scary. Uh, people are upset. They, uh, they don't like having to stay at home, but that's just the, you know, you got to keep your distance. That's the thing. And you, you can't really interact with anyone anymore. Which, uh, and I don't want this to come out the wrong way, but I don't actually mind that part, the not being around people part. In fact, I quite enjoyed that part, if I'm being honest, because I don't really like people, or I... I don't like being around people, I should say, and I, I don't want you to think that I'm, I'm becoming some kind of a misanthrope. I haven't. I'm, I'm still, you know, I like to think that I'm a relatively pleasant person. I'm certainly capable of tolerating people. I mean, my God, I worked in HR for 30 years, so uh, yeah, uh, I've had to tolerate all manner of people. And uh, I'm more than capable of interfacing if I have to. I just don't prefer it given a, a choice between uh, a, a party, say, or, or uh, a brunch, or, God forbid, a barbecue, um, versus me being at home by myself, I would 100% of the time choose my own company. And I mean, who could blame me? I'm very likable, uh, or charming, was the word you most often used. Uh, so, uh, yeah, this has been obviously a refreshing change of pace for me. Just sitting and reading. Uh, they're just, uh, and I can read for as long as I want. And there's just so m many, just stacks of, of unread books I've accumulated over the years. So I'm plowing through some of them. And, uh, listening to music and binging podcasts and Netflix and making my own kombucha. Yes, kombucha and kimchi. And I'm finally making use of that sourdough starter I've had for I don't know how long. Uh, honestly, you should see the fridge. It's like a, it's like a chemistry lab. Uh, lots of fermenting going on. Um, and what else? Uh, oh, I'm, I'm learning Spanish on Duolingo. Uh, when would I have had time to do that? So, yeah. Soy más feliz cuando estoy solo. Pretty good, right? Muy bien. And, oh, get to this. I've been dancing. Well, maybe dancing is uh, too generous a word for it. But I, I've been moving through the apartment while doing what I consider dance-like gestures. Well, I enjoy it. And it's great cardio. Also, I'm having all the groceries delivered. The guy shows up in a mask and rubber gloves. He leaves the bags outside the door. Then he rings the bell and runs away. I don't have to speak to anyone. <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> Just to be clear, I, I, I haven't turned into a complete hermit. I do lean out the window every night at seven, like everyone, and, and bang on a pot to cheer on the, the doctors and nurses and, and first responders because was, what they're doing is, is heroic, obviously, and, and selfless. And, um, and God bless them for everything they do. So, of course, I want to support them. Uh, and while I'm doing it, I make co eye contact with the neighbors leaning out their windows. And that goes on for about two minutes, uh, which is plenty of time, really. Uh, and then I duck inside my apartment again and go back to enjoying myself. So, yeah, uh, Unlike most people, I am as happy as I can be. I mean, 
obviously. I'd feel differently if you were here. Not that I would want you going through any of this, but if the choice was being alone or being with you, that's a different story. In that scenario, you clearly would win 100% of the time because you were the one person whose company I actually enjoyed more than my own. The room was always a little nicer when you walked into it. So just to clarify, when I say I'm as happy as I can be, I mean under the circumstances. Under the circumstances, I'm as happy as I can be. If you were here, I'd be. If we were learning Spanish together, that would be so much better. Or if we were both banging on pots or making kimchi, but maybe not the kimchi, you'd, you'd never put up with that. But definitely the Spanish and the dancing, the dancing you'd enjoy. We both would. Oh, ah, it's almost time. I've got to go show my appreciation. Come with me. We'll do it together. <laughs>